In the last video, I talked about Android Q and its features running on Pocophone F1. As promised, in this video, I will show you how to install Android Q Beta 5 on your Pocophone F1 based on Pixel 3 smartphone. Keep in mind, this ROM has some bugs which cannot be used as a daily driver. But if you want to explore Android Q early, then definitely you would give it a shot. Let's get started. Alright guys, as you can see, this is my Pocophone F1 so, and I have installed the latest stable uh, ROM on my phone and let me quickly show you the version which I am running. So I'm going to go to the uh, settings, then from here we're going to go to the about phone and as you can see, um, I'm, I'm running the a global stable 10.3.6 so which is a stable version as of now by the time of recording this video so anyway guys first and foremost always remember if you're flashing any custom ROM so I strongly recommend it backing up your important data because at this process may require a clean installation everything will be gone your photos your videos I recommend please back up your data to the local storage or cloud storage so the second thing is make sure that your device is having a sufficient battery juice as you can see I have charged my phone to the full as you can see though 96 person and the third thing is make sure that your Pocophone F1 is having an unlocked bootloader that's very very important if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader you're just gonna go ahead and watch that video from here by clicking on the card or you can check the link in the description down below and also you need to have a TWRP custom recovery installed on your device that's very important so if you don't know how to install the TWRP custom recovery on your Pocophone F1 Again, check the link in the description down below. I made a dedicated videos for those two topics. You can find the links in the description down below. Just gonna go ahead, unlock the bootloader, and install the latest version of the TWRP custom recovery, and then come back here. Now, once everything is set, now at this point, uh, you're watching this video. So then make sure that you remove your lock screen passwords, the fingerprints, the face data, remove all of these things, and also sign out from your me account. So sign up from your me account as well as your Google accounts, remove all of your accounts and fingerprints, everything just to be on a safer side. So once everything is done, now just gonna go ahead and download the files from the link in the description. There are the two files that you need to download. The first one is going to be the Android Q uh, beta file, so which is a based on a Pixel 3. This is the same GSI build. So this is the one that you need to download. And another one is going to be the vendor file. So by the time of recording this video, I'm actually using the a global stable vendor and firmware file. So I recommend it guys, Go ahead and use these files of course you can use the latest developer roms vendor and firmware files but uh, it is having a serious issues with the wi-fi so just gonna go ahead and grab the uh, latest uh, stable rom based vendor and firmware file and then copy it onto your sd card or you can use a usb otg so don't copy it to the internal storage so now once everything is set uh, we need to boot your device into the a twrp recovery so to do it so what you're gonna do is invoke the uh, power button just like that then you're gonna see the option called the reboot so once you see the op a reboot option then click on the tap then keep holding the uh, volume up button while it's rebooting so it's gonna see it's gonna turn off the phone and then you keep holding the uh, volume up button if you have installed the TWRP recovery on your device it's gonna directly take you to the uh, team win recovery project so as you can see so right now we are inside the TWRP recovery so when you are inside the TWRP recovery the first thing foremost you need to do is just gonna click on the wipe then you need to click on the advanced wipe so of course the latest build is having some touch issues as you can see i'm not able to touch it so uh, give it for uh, five seconds to refresh it as you can see it's going to be come back again then just select the delve cache as well as the system data and then internal storage so please select these five partitions remember if you select the internal storage so please back up your data so all of the all of the files inside the internal storage will be gone so just going to go ahead and swipe to wipe so once you're done swipe to wipe again you need to go to the uh, wipe again so this time you need to select the option called a uh, format data then here you need to type yes basically this removes the encryption if it has just going to go ahead and click on it and then it's done now once it's done now you're going to go ahead and click on the install option now uh, select the storage and choose uh, from which storage you want to flash so in this case i have copied my files 
to the micro SD card. So at this point, you can also uh, hook up your USB cable and connect to your computer and transfer those two zip files into the internal storage. You can also do that. But I have installed, I mean, I have copied my files onto the micro SD. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And then once you select it, you're gonna go ahead and scroll all the way. And then the first, you need to select the uh, Beryllium vendor and firmware file. So just gonna go ahead and select it. Then again, click on add more zips. And then this time, you need to select the uh, Beryllium OTA QPP file, so which is the Android Q zip file. Just select that and then swipe to confirm flash. So leave it your phone for a moment. And it's gonna take us some time uh, to complete a flashing get. Alright, so once you're done uh, flashing this ROM, so as you can see that, and we are uh, gonna see the option called successful, uh, then go ahead and click on the uh, reboot system. So once you click on the reboot system, you are gonna see there is an option called no operating system is installed. So just gonna go ahead and discard that message. Just gonna go ahead and swipe to reboot. So once you do that, swipe to rebooting it, and your device may gonna reboot multiple times, don't worry. So this should can be boot into the Android Q beta on your device. That's it guys, this is how you install Android Q Beta on your Pocophone F1. Now let me quickly show you the version I'm running by going into the settings about phone and here you can see the Android version 10.0. So just in case if you face any issues you can always uh, go back to the stock ROM using a fastboot method. So for that check the link in the description of the video. So that's pretty much about it. If you like this video then hit the thumbs up button down there and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified. So thanks for watching. This is your boy KSK Royal. Peace.